Okay, this is going to be cool. This coding video is going to be about creative DSP. I want to talk about the situation where you are coding DSP and you had something specific in mind, but it didn't quite work out the way you wanted it to. So you tried something else spontaneously with the things that you had lying around in your code and suddenly you find something else that is just much better anyway and you want to build up on that and suddenly you find new parameters that you didn't really plan to have but you are happy that you are getting there and yeah this is one of these situations i am currently here in the delay feedback class of the comp filter of the flanger module of hammer and meisel and let me just show you how it sounds right now so these three parameters here <laughs> you agree that this just sounds so nice because it adds to the modal filter something that makes it more three-dimensional and spiky and ooh, it just has such a nice sound and it's not a normal comp filter actually and that's the thing that i want to talk about it is an all-pass filter i know i called it low pass everywhere because that's what i wanted to do first i wanted to make a low pass filter and i just I couldn't hear the comp filter anymore so I was like okay maybe I should not take the frequency but 64 times the frequency then I started to hear the comp filter again but it just got so messy it just exaggerated the low end so hard wasn't beautiful anymore that didn't work and at some point I just decided like hey what if I just need a completely different type of filters I just checked which ones do I have. I tried the band pass, for example, because band, pass, band passes are always nice, but not in this case, it was terrible. And then I was thinking, wait, all pass filters, they are kind of weird. And it would be funny to hear what they sound like when they are key tracked, because I never thought about doing that before. And now I did it and it works so nice. Now I have to rename this thing so that it's called all pass, else it will be confusing. And of course, this is also going to be called all pass. Now to rename some stuff before I can go on. But this is going to be so cool. We will explore this more in this video. Okay, I think that was everything. So now the first thing that I want to explore is what it would be like to um, actually use another slope of all pass filters here. Would that sound even better? Because obviously we have something like this Prosa out there, which like the whole concept is based on making an all pass filter with a huge slope. And I also made a plugin like that called all has. And yeah, now we'll try what slope can do for us in this plugin. <laughs> Interesting. I felt like it became even softer. Let's try to put the slope really high so that we can hear the effect more exaggerated. What? Cannot have a slope of 20? Oh, I'm so stupid. Of course, I also have to change the template then. Hmm. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> this is the template that I should have changed, of course. That's ugly. Okay, so if we have too many all pass filters, then we cannot hear like the melodicalness of the comp filter anymore, which is not so nice. So let's try to find out which is the highest possible slope that still sounds somewhat useful. Wait up, we need a little bit more control here. So this will be a slope and now here i will also have this variable so that i don't always have to change it on both sides okay nice I think that's already a little bit too much. What about a slope of three? I could imagine that being kind of cool. I don't want to make this a parameter. I just want to find a fixed slope that sounds good because I don't feel like just the slope control by itself would be really cool. It wouldn't do much to me personally as a user. So it would just distract from things that could be cooler. <laughs> I 
think that made it kind of worse. Maybe it needs to be a little bit closer to five again. Four, just in the center between three and five. Can't go wrong with that, right? <laughs> Okay, nice, I like that, that's pretty cool. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna experiment with the resonance as a unique parameter, because at the moment it's just set to two. I don't even know what that means with this specific all-pass filter. It's not the best all-pass filter ever, but just the most generic one. But still, for now it is just something that sounds good, so I wanna work with it. So there needs to be a new parameter and it's called Comp AP Resonance because I'm making my parameters in German here. So currently I'm just setting up the basic things about the parameter layout. Higher resonance causes sharper ringing. Yeah, we will see about that, what it really causes. So we should just put some placeholder here so that we can remember that we still have to change it later when we know more about what it really has as a musical effect. And of course, we are not making a comp mix, but a comp AP resonance default value of let's say two because that's what it already is and then make range with central and now I want to have a start of something really low at the end let's have eight eight and then two as a central of course unit this is a Q factor okay perfect this is the comp filters processing call this thing could also update the resonance mm. Probably I need a new function for that uh, update. All pass reso. Oh, this needs to have num channels as well. Call this set so that it is consistent with the other method. Okay, that seems pretty straightforward. Should I also reset the filter whenever it happens? Maybe I should, but I'm not quite sure. It depends on if it can break out now. I hope it can't. Okay, and now here I can just be like set AP reso. Typically, there should be a little bit of a check if AP Rezo has even changed at all here, but for now I will just update it constantly to find out what that can do for me. Holy shit, what did just happen? We still have an AP resonance of 2, just like before, so it shouldn't do anything special. Fucking shit, what did I break? I mean, it sounds crazy and kind of nice, but I'm a little bit scared about my speakers. So what is going on here? I just know I had set the resonance to two before and it worked. Maybe it should be reset every time the resonance changes. But if I implement that now, I need to make sure that it isn't called all the time. Okay, AP Rezo. Now I have it changed a little bit so that it only updates if the parameter value actually changed and every update resets the filter so it should not break out from that. Okay, I understand it. This is cool. This works very well, but I can go even harder with that, I think. Now I found something, because this is basically a smoothness control. It makes the sound so much smoother. We are about to find a great musical meaning in this. But first, I have to change something about this parameter a little bit, which is making 8 the default value, making 1 the minimum value and giving it even more possibility for change. Yeah. This should be pretty cool. Now this is creative DSP coding because it's not about what's technically right anymore, but now it is about listening and making cool decisions. <laughs> Wait.
wait, this decision was not very cool because it doesn't really change its sound a lot anymore after eight, maybe a little bit. So let's make the topmost thing 16 and give the number two again the center position because that's where things are really still changing a lot. Great, I love that. That's oh, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. That's nice. Okay. Um, now the next thing that I had in mind, what we could do with this whole concept, is trying it in Octify, of course. Now here in the set damn frequency method, we will now quickly change frequency with its octave up, just to find out what that can do for us and if it also has a good effect. <laughs> Wow, that definitely has a great effect. That's like it shapes the entire sound. Oh my God, what a find. Now I need to make this a little bit more complex. It cannot just be a single all pass filter anymore. I need to wrap that around something more intelligent. Now all pass sys or all pass series. Yeah, because it will be a mix between the harmonic series and all pass filters. Yeah, that's a cool idea. Let's do that. The harmonic series. I can imagine it already. Let's move that here and now decide for how many filters we want this to work. Series size. And we will have it like four or maybe no, let's let's be a little more adventurous. Seven, each with a slope of four. <laughs> channel index and sample input as well. Okay, so AP slow channels. So filters of channel. Is channel the most outer layer? No, it is not. The most outer layer is the serious size. I will have to loop through the harmonic series and for each series I have to check for the current channel and I have to add something to the output and then I have to return the output. Wait, the output should start with being the sample. Okay, great. Let's get back to this thing. I just noticed that a lot of these functions are wrong. I was assuming that channels is the most outer layer and that's just wrong. And now I can finally do the final thing that's missing here. So instead of using this range based loop, I will use a normal loop. So I can be like if is static cast i plus one. Yeah, because then this is going to be one, two, three, four, five. That's the harmonic series. Okay. I have times this. Okay. This should work. Holy shit. Okay. <gasps> what the fuck is going on now? In order to rule out if it's because of the series, I will put the series back to one. We have just one all pass filter like in the beginning and try to find out if this will at least give us the same behavior as we had before implementing this class. Ow, so it does not work. No, no, it is very different from before. Why? Oh, wait, this is actually an equal that we need here. GitHub Copilot was right, human was wrong. <laughs> so 
so everything works again just like before and now i can softly go back to seven i'm a brave boy nothing can scare me That's pretty cool, but I feel like it's a little bit overkill. What if we just have a series of three? So we have the normal frequency, the octave, and whatever that next thing is, the fifth or something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's that's really good. But I want to try something else really quickly before going on. Let's put the series up to 7 again. But now, instead of having IF being used like this, I am going to use it like this. And now I has to be 0. Because now, this will yield the numbers 1, 2, 4, 8. So it's like octaves and um, we probably need something here that says if FC is bigger than 0.5, no more like bigger than da 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 So the filter can break out when being too high. That's kind of powerful too, but again, seven is way too much. So let's put it back to three and just find out what kind of attitude it has then. Maybe it's a good one, maybe it's a bad one. <laughs> Nice, I love that. That's just incredible. That's a great sound. That's exactly how I want my, um, like the shape of the texture of the, I don't know yet how I want to call this parameter, but like the parameter that describes the texture of this comp filter. That's how I want it to sound like, more or less. Maybe I will still find some ways to tweak this in the near future, but this is already so cool. Like, I, I was able to control the sound with the slope, with the serious and with the feedback control of the all pass filter itself that's already a lot of stuff i could now even imagine some more finely detailed decisions like making only the first two have a slope of four and the other two a slope of two maybe to kind of fine tune the behavior of this wow there are rarely situations like this in plugin development where you can just zone out from all of the technical shit and focus on the cool stuff this is one of the reasons why it's actually cool to be a plugin developer <laughs> 